Hello guys, welcome to Sunya IAS. Today we are going to discuss the worksheet for lecture three of Current Affairs Prelims Crash Course 2023. Hope your preparation is going really well. You are watching the lectures diligently. I am discussing previous year questions into the class itself. We are trying to discuss all the important and relevant previous year questions with respect to current affairs in the class and these questions are very relevant for your examination you might find few questions in the exam related to previous year questions because upsc has a tendency to repeat certain questions from its options and i am presenting in the worksheet those questions which might come in your examination and this worksheet discussion is also important because you can assess your understanding in the class how much marks you are getting are you able to eliminate the answers very well or not okay so topics covered today are species in the news and protected areas these from these areas particularly one or two questions you will find in your examination environment is quite big a chapter when it comes to current affairs as well as a static class questions are very dynamic in environment and questions are related to current affairs they might be related to the core of your static portion you can be you can relate them with your static portion only when you understand the importance of your current affairs so let's begin in 40 hours we are going to cover the whole current affairs of for one year this is really a herculean task because syllabus of current affairs is not very well defined and how we are covering it we are going subject wise in this way you can easily relate the current affairs month wise has a difficulty because news are repeated sometimes for whole year and even the contemporary news i have clubbed and arranged them into subject wise for your better understanding first question is consider the following statements regarding the asian elephant this is question number 1 it is the largest land mammal on the asian continent okay largest land mammal on the asian continent their habitat ranges from wet tropical evergreen forest to semi arid thorn and scrub forest the statement is also true they are slightly larger than african elephants okay class they are not larger than african elephants first let's understand few things about asian elephant asian elephant are indian sumatran and sri lankan the iucn status of asian elephant is endangered okay classification of asian elephants you understand when we come to african elephants african elephants are of two types one is in savanna savanna forest you know in the vegetation classifications their status is also endangered but there are certain forest elephants in africa forest elephants it is critically endangered and they are larger in the size got it regarding elephants already upsc has asked questions regarding gestation period of asian elephants which state has the highest population of elephant in india this is a question for you karnataka has highest population c class while solving a question also means having relevant information about the topic in diverse fields what are the initiatives indian initiatives for protection of elephant gaj yatra mic program is there monitoring the illegal killing of elephants even project elephant started in 1992 it is a centrally sponsored scheme for the protection <clears throat> elephant reserves in agastamala in tamil nadu has been there elephant corridors we are making there are to total 88 elephant corridors and most of the elephant corridors are in northeastern region got it 
therefore correct answer should be 1 and 2 a should be the correct answer question number 2 which of the following statements is are correct regarding indian gore indian gore this is also known as indian bison okay the important thing about indian bison is that its 85 percent population is found only in india it is native to south and southeast asia we all know let's see the statements it is the tallest species of wild cattle wild cattle found in india and largest extant bovine largest extant bovine okay this statement is true i have discussed it in detail in the lecture statement 2 in india there are very much prevalent in the eastern ghats no class they are not prevalent in eastern ghats okay they live in evergreen evergreen and moist deciduous forest okay they are found in nagarhol national park bandipur biligiri ranga hills they are very much prevalent this is wrong if a statement has been they are found in the eastern ghats as well then i would have said go with the statement 2 eliminating statement 2 would be an extreme step but in this case statement 2 should be considered wrong their status iucn status while we are discussing species always remember their iucn status develop it as a habit is vulnerable okay correct answer is a question number three which of the following statements are correct regarding red panda okay red panda is treated as more as flagship species status of red panda is endangered iucn status is endangered there are two types of red panda one is called as himalayan and other is chinese okay now himalayan you understand and chinese actually they are like this chinese there himalayan here they are split the distinction between the two red pandas himalayan red panda and chinese red panda is done by siang river siang river which flows in arunachal pradesh this splits the two species now if the statement red panda only himalayan red panda is found in india or chinese class remember both the red pandas are found in india both the red pandas are found in india let's see look at the statements it is the state animal of sikkim the state the statement is correct yes it is the state animal of sikkim it is considered as an indicator species for ecological change yes so red panda is mostly an arboreal animal it lives mostly on the trees and it reflects the ecological changes in the forest it is found in the forest of india nepal and bhutan very correct statement red panda is in news because recently padmaja naidu himalayan zoological park padmaja naidu zoological national park got into ambitious project to release 20 red pandas into singalila national park of west bengal singalila national park of west bengal now class what what are the important informations you are getting here it is not just about the red panda but also padmaja naidu national park singalila national park of west bengal what are the other national parks of west bengal jaldapada national park neora valley national park sundarbans gorumara baksa national park these are the national parks located in the west bengal correct answer is d all the statements are correct question number four consider the following statements about weaver ants okay weaver ants are found where in odisha 
okay they are abundantly found in the mayurbhanj throughout the year yes correct odisha mayurbhanj they are found in the odisha recently what has happened a chutney the tribal people in the odisha they make chutney of it that is known as kai chutney this chutney is rich in lot of minerals okay <clears throat> minerals rich chutney it is good for the nutrition okay lot of iron is there zinc is there into the kai chutney from these weaver ants now scientists are planning to get a gi geographical indication tag for it till now weaver ants or kai chutney do not have any gi tag remember this they are recognized as biological control agents in tropical crops yes true they are biological control agents because they feed on the leaves and larva and mucus of some animals the nests are weak to withstand wind and are permeable to water no they they make very strong nests that that is not permeable to water the statement is wrong one and two should be correct answer okay so class remember it in context of gi tags mayurbhanj odisha significance as biocontrol agents it's also very important what are the other gi tags the odisha state has kandmahal haldi about rasgulla there was dispute between west bengal and odisha what was the outcome west bengal has a gi for its own rasgulla and odisha has a gi tag for its own type of rasgulla both the states have their gi tags for their rasgullas okay <coughs> question number 5 consider the following statements which of the above is are correct regarding sea cucumbers okay sea cucumber class they are the marine invertebrates and they their shape look like cucumbers therefore they are called as sea cucumbers they live basically on the sea floors because they are invertebrates they live on the sea floor let's look at the statements they are marine invertebrates that live on the sea floor found generally in the tropical regions correct statement they are named for their usual oblong shape that resembles a fat cucumber true chandigarh administration created the world's first conservation area for sea cucumber no this was in the news because for sea cucumbers okay it's illegal trade or illicit conserve uh, uh, poaching has been banned is a criminal offense right now in india and for its con conservation lakshadweep remember this lakshadweep first conservation area has been formed okay so statement 1 and 2 are correct third is wrong now sea cucumbers can be of many types its status is endangered brown sea cucumber black spotted sea cucumber okay brown sea cucumber is endangered this is in the news the crucial aspect of asking this question is about on lakshadweep we have opened conservation area for it okay question number 6 which of the following statements is are correct regarding chenkurinji okay chenkurinji is a flower we you know it this species is endemic to agastamala biosphere reserve of course it is used to treat lower blood pressures and treat arthritis class try to understand that chenkurinji nilkurinji these are the flowers these are like herbs and shrubs they all have medicinal values okay it is ins inspired the name of shendurni wildlife center. it is inspired from the name of okay there was a typing error it is inspired from the name of shendurni wildlife sanctuary yes that is true so 
ऑल द अब स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट नौ अगर तुम्हारा बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व हैज बिकम द पार्ट ऑफ मैब मैन एंड बायोस्फेयर ओके पार्ट ऑफ वर्ल्ड नेटवर्क ऑफ बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व इन विच ईयर इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन हैज ऑलरेडी बीन आज अबाउट अगस्त माला बायोस्फेयर रिजर्व ओके थ्री वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरीज आर देयर इन टू इट शेंदुरनी वाइल्ड लाइफ सेंचुरी पेपर एंड नेयर ओके शेंदुरनी पेपर एंड नेयर क्वेश्चन हैज बीन डायरेक्टली आज बाई यूपीएससी ओके वन टाइगर रिजर्व कलक्कड़ मंदन थुराई and this reserve agastamai tribes which tribes live there kani tribes <coughs> between kerala and tamil nadu these are certain extra facts related to the question question number 7 class consider the following statements correct about sea grass okay Sea grass. Recently, a restoration program by Tamil Nadu government has been started into Gulf of Mannar. Okay, class also locate on the map Gulf of Mannar. What is location of Pulk Bay, Pulk Strait? Okay, these are flowering plants that grow submerged in shallow marine waters like bays and lagoons. True. these are flowering plants that grow submerged in the shallow marine waters like bays and lagoons unlike terrestrial plants sea grasses don't require sunlight for photosynthesis the statement is wrong how you should understand these kind of statements in the examination see they if this is if this we consider as an ocean okay continental shelf if they these plants grow on shallow marine not in the deep waters okay in the benthic zone the sunlight will not reach it will reach on the shallow areas here hence these plants need sunlight therefore statement 1 and statement 2 are not in synchronization either one should be true or two should be true and one is correct statement therefore we can easily eliminate the second you should be able to use these kind of techniques okay their habitat could be all types of they can grow on all types of substra substrates like muds rocks on the ocean okay on the rocks occur all along coastal areas of india like we have approximately 7500 km of coast and these sea grasses they are not restricted to a particular region okay and abundant in the pulp strait they are very much abundant in the pulp strait got it Question number eight. Consider the following statements regarding hornbill. India is home to five species of hornbill. Okay, no class. India is home to nine species of hornbill. Okay, hornbill is also called as friends of forest or farmers of forest. they have very long beak okay they grow on tropical and subtropical areas africa asia okay great indian hornbill is a state animal of arunachal pradesh as well as kerala great indian hornbill state animal of arunachal pradesh as well as kerala okay great indian hornbill is status is great hornbill vulnerable and hornbill festival class class try to understand there is festival called as hornbill festival recently it was celebrated in nagaland
स्टेटमेंट टू द निशी ट्राइब ऑफ अरुणाचल प्रदेश सेलिब्रेटेड हॉर्नबिल नेस्ट एडॉप्शन प्रोग्राम सो डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज इन द एग्जामिनेशन नागालैंड स्टेट सेलिब्रेट्स हॉर्नबिल फेस्टिवल एंड द निशी ट्राइब ऑफ अरुणाचल प्रदेश सेलिब्रेट्स हॉर्नबिल नेस्ट एडॉप्शन प्रोग्राम दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोग्राम बिकॉज हॉर्नबिल नेस्ट एडॉप्शन प्रोग्राम हियर दीज वर द हंटर्स ऑफ द हॉर्नबिल If this program is also termed as hunter turned into protector, hunter turned into protector of the hornbill. Okay, so statement two is correct. So correct answer should be one is wrong, two is correct. Only option B is correct. Question number nine. Consider the following statements with respect to dugongs. they are also called as sea cows statement number 1 dugongs are the world's largest herbivorous marine mammals which thrive primarily on the sea grass beds correct largest herbivorous marine mammals okay they thrive only on the sea grass beds statement 2 marine heat wave is the major contributing factor for the decline in the population no class it is not the major contributing factor it can be one of the factors but not the major these are called the tail words that upsc also uses in the examination rather the habitat loss is the major reason because of poaching because of hunting this is the issue with the declining population of dugongs statement 3 they are protected under the schedule 1 of the wildlife protection act 1972 correct statement statement 3 is correct statement number 4 recently india has established its first dugong conservation reserve in kerala yes class the statement is partially right and partially wrong okay because india recently has established its first dugong conservation reserve but it is in tamil nadu not in kerala got it <coughs> its iucn status is vulnerable got it they are found in gulf of mannar okay in the map if you will see gulf of mannar they were found in gulf of kutch as well pulse bay andaman in this area also they are found okay correct answer should be b 1 and 3 Consider the following statements about cheetah. Class cheetah pe question two three years to will come. Will come because recently we have cheetah reintroduction program. Because cheetah has been extinct from India since 1953. From last 70 years, cheetah has been extinct. and it had been an habitat for cheetah therefore cheetah is being reintroduced from which country we are taking from namibia namibia cheetah is being brought to kuno palpur national park kuno palpur national park kuno has already been asked by upsc in which state kuno palpur national park is there madhya pradesh so every information related to cheetah and kuno palpur national park becomes important for you <clears throat> let's talk about cheetah f african cheetah class african cheetah it, it there is lot of population about it african cheetah has status of vulnerable whereas asiatic cheetah it is critically endangered critically endangered okay about kuno palpur national park kuno river is a tributary of chambal river flows through the park kuno river is a tributary of chambal river remember this okay this kuno uh, palpur national park also has leopard jackal and chinkara population along with it it is the fastest and swiftest mammal on the planet let's see the statements the cheetah is the swiftest land mammal on the planet very true statement the iucn red list of species it is classified as endangered 
no it is either vulnerable or critically endangered so statement 2 is wrong correct answer is a one only so students keep preparing very well and revising specifically specifically so the current affairs lectures are going online as well as offline on our centers of delhi bangalore and pune you can join them thank you